Standing alone on one of the world's most prized pieces of oceanfront property and lit up like a four and a half million pound candle, Space Shuttle Discovery is fully fueled and ready for its early morning liftoff from Launch Pad 39A here at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Discovery's bright orange external tank is filled with more than 500,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The shuttle's power producing fuel cells, general purpose computers, and life support systems are all activated and everything is working as expected. About three and a half miles away from Discovery, launch controllers in Kennedy's Launch Control Center Firing Room 4 are overseeing all of the shuttle systems and verifying the step-by-step -step processes that will lead to an expected liftoff at 621 and 25 seconds a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Discovery's crew is awakened at 8 p.m. Easter Sunday, ate breakfast at 8.30, underwent standard medical checks at 9 o'clock and has been making last-minute preparations for this morning's launch attempt. This will be the 35th night launch in Space Shuttle program history. And as the shuttle rockets to the northeast, it will make an early morning wake-up call to residents of the Space Coast as well as much of America's East Coast as it climbs and accelerates to 17,500 miles an hour in just eight and a half minutes. Right after the launch tower is cleared, Discovery will perform a roll maneuver pointing it precisely on the trajectory of 51.6 degrees to catch up to the International Space Station. At the time of liftoff, the station will be about 220 miles over the Atlantic Ocean, southwest of Ireland. But about 17 minutes before launch, at 6.04 a.m., the space station will pass over the Kennedy Space Center providing an excellent sighting opportunity as it moves from the south-southwest to the east, and it should be visible for about three minutes, peaking at a 43-degree elevation. So here inside the Launch Control Center, the countdown for Discovery's launch is continuing on schedule. The launch window opens at 6.16 and 25 seconds, and our preferred and planned launch time is exactly five minutes later at 6.21.25. The launch window for a flight day three rendezvous closes at 6.26 and 25 seconds, and for a flight day four rendezvous three minutes later at 6.29 and 35 seconds. NASA managers have determined that they would use the flight day four opportunity if it became necessary. We're at T-minus three hours in holding. This is shuttle launch control. 